Hey guys, welcome back for Let's Play World of Warcraft episode 46. I know the other one was a little bit short, but then suddenly I had to go and get some lunch. I guess it was about time, it was uh, well, one o'clock. And of course I cannot be attacking that orc, not quite yet. Here's a friend of mine. So, what to do? We need still need to find the pair of boots that should be spread around all the... Uh, around all the place here so we only got one bar and then we'll be hitting level 54 so that's awesome and I probably should be time by then to be moving to another area then uh, we have spent uh, quite enough uh, time in this low level zone mobs are turning green way too soon and I uh, hate that then we'll have to figure out which zone we'll go next to I am not sure yet though <coughs> So, we need to find three more boots, should be spread all around the place, yes. they are all dead here, I wonder where I can find the next boots, there's two boots here, two pairs, nice, only one more to go, and where do we find the last one? Maybe by the next bunker that is right over here. There might be a boot there or something. There it is. Yes, it is. That's good. Okay. Quest completed. Let's go ahead and turn it in. We'll see what he what uh, that quartermaster got for us next. Uh, let's talk with him. I guess we have to run out here. Let's put on the mask again. And let's go down and talk with the quartermaster. Some fu something uh, was uh, fucked up. Uh, had fucked up when uh, we locked out the last time. So, uh, anyways, now we can talk with him. Complete the quest and use the horn of the callers to call seven Blackrock war coders to back to the camp. Sure, I, I can do that. Uh, that should be a problem. It even gives me eleven thousand four hundred seventy-five XP. So that's nice. That's almost ten percent of my level. Okay, that's one out of seven. I know some of these may be attacking me when I... Yeah, there we go, that was the one attacking me. But uh, I'm not gonna ground, go to the ground and call it back. We, we could just kite it around, it's very slow. That's three out of seven. And that one would like to fight with me. Don't do that, please. I don't want to fight you. I love you. I like Kodos. That's four, 4 out of 7. 3 more to go. And 5. 2 more to go. And come on. Still 2 more to go. 1 more to go. And 7 out of 7. Quest completed. Complete quest. Except the next one. The next one is well, we just have to report back and uh, talk what we uh, talk to the corporal, tell him what we know, and we'll get a item out of it. it. Gives me a little bit more intellect, one more stamina, one less critical strike rating. But the intellect makes up for that uh, loss we have in critical strike. Okay, let's talk with the corporal here. Turn on the quest, pick up the item, and put the item on. So what next? Nothing. No. Next is, we have to kill 10 dwarves that should be spread around the ruins here. There's one guy here, another guy here, and somebody already came in here and killed my golems. That's not nice. My god, I hate that fighting about, um, fighting with rogues, because they're hitting so goddamn fast. Shut up, Dot. 
let's fight the war reavers here. Another dwarf incoming. And this, uh, these golems are dropping an item that drops right in front of them, so better use that. It's a uh, different. You, you kind of ha have to choose between items. And as you see, I need uh, to get s three obsidian piston, uh, three flux, some forum gear shaft, and one stone power core. So let's look. Let's t take this item. Next item is another obsidian piston, I guess. Still need to pull more dwarves. Need to kill seven more. Okay, this is going to be a little bit risky. for me. And I'm stun locked. At least that made because I was stun locked there, it made me then switch to the uh, wet walker instead. Okay. Two more dwarves to go. Still need some uh, two kill more of these uh, elementals. Golems, whatever they are. Still need to kill them. I probably should use a soul harvest at some point to get my health back up and oh, what you move? Stupid white walker. Thank you. And get the stone power core. These are very rare, so better put, pick it up, then we don't have to kill etc uh, more of them to uh than we need to. Two more dwarves and this is one of them. Still need to kill plenty of these uh, war golems. Let's go ahead, pull two of here, right here. And where is the item I was looking for? Okay, they're right here. Let's get one of these and we'll get a gear shaft. So I get I'm guessing we only need to kill like five more. Oh and look at that guy, that's a rare mob. We better kill it. Maybe he drops something we can use. I was kinda wondering because he was a little bit bigger than uh, the most guys here. So I thought it was a rare or something. It didn't drop. Well, he did drop something. Uh, some boots. Had uh, s 11 intellect, 12 spirit, no stamina. So I'm not gonna use it. I do have an. Do get six intellect though out of this, but and some critical rating. But I still it has stamina on it, which I do kind of prefer when I'm leveling. I talked about that in the other episodes because simply survivability when you're leveling allows you to be pulling more mobs at one time and that's very good. I kind of have to find the uh, item here. Didn't he drop an item or something? No, I guess not. I, that's fine. Be a stupid machine then. Maybe this guy would be kind enough to be dropping one of the items that we need. And there we go, that's the item. Get the gear shaft. Only, only need one more of the gear shaft. Two more flux and one obsidian piston, so... Shouldn't be too long. Do get a 9,180 XP out of that quest. The other one gives a similar XP. Let's pick up the item here. Ah, damn it! I wasn't supposed to pick up a second stone core, come on. Why did I click on that button? That's kind of stupid. I just clicked, I guess. 
I was reading one thing, but thinking the other, uh, clicking the one thing, but thinking the other thing. Okay. So there's the item. It's hiding inside the golem. I guess that's what happened to the other one as well. Okay. Two more flux. One more obsidian piston. And another flux. One more flux, one more is piston. And where are they when I need them? I need a golem. There's two here. Maybe that should that should be enough for the last two. some of one of the uh, flux and hopefully didn't he, he didn't drop any items for us sucker but uh, one obsidian piston more and we'll be ready to go and deliver that we'll have uh, 18,400 XP something like that out of it uh, delivering the two courses here bringing us that further to uh, closer to the uh, next level which is level 55 and I wonder Oh come on, this, this one didn't even drop the item I needed. I wonder, next level? Yeah, I'll get another talent point, that's great. That probably means we can put down here, right? Isn't that uh, something like that? Probably have to maybe spend one more point here. Not quite yet. I, ne I never really figured, it's always been so confusing to me, but who cares. And no, this one didn't drop the item either. Guess we we'll have to kill another freaking elemental. And the item is. Where is the item I need? It's hiding very good underneath the elementals. Somewhere. Somewhere around the leg here. I I can see a small sparkling thing. I hate when that happens. So there we go. There we go. That's the last item. Now we can go ahead and deliver our two quests. And if I have to take a while, guys, guess the next uh, quest is where we are going to be training up our own uh, war golems. Uh, that is uh, spread around the base camp as our guardians. Oh, I'm gonna be the one training them up. Uh, might I think it should be around now, right? Help for chiseled golems with the combat training. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna help with the combat training, as I said. We do not get any items out of it, but it should be fairly easy. And it uh, gives me 11,475 XP, so that's nice. We'll take that any day. So let's go ahead and start with this one down here. And we just have to kill it like three times, something like that. And now it's cut recovering. And again. Just have to defeat it and then it will be a uh, learning uh, kind of how you uh, how to fight, I guess. Oh, come on, be ready already. There we go, thank you. I'm wondering, am I able to uh, fight multiple golems at one time? Let's uh, try. Yes, we are. That makes it so much easier. We will fight three at one time, at a time. 
Might as well make one big practice out of it. Now we should probably be, fi be done with the other one soon as well. Guess we'll have to be done with this one. Oh, we still have to fight them one more time. That's alright. We can do that. And quest should be completed, right? Oh, we have to fight the very last time. And now the quest should be completed, so let's go ahead and jump down here. Ready to... Uh, deliver the quest here. Go to John J. Keeshan. He says we have to speak with the General Fork Sork, something like that. That's an ogre. So let's go over there to the uh, big uh, Black Rock stronghold that should be right over here. Rather interesting place. So. Here it is, and look at that. Plenty of mobs guarding. Oh, and I probably should use my Black Rock. Oh, I am already using the Black Rock disguise. That's good. That means we can just run, run right in there. And talk with the, uh, the guy that we had to talk with. And they're keeping some big Magma Lord uh, co call up in here. He's a scary dude. And now we have to slay... kill him or something. So let's talk with this goblin. He should uh, be able to unrelease it. Now we use, need to use the Black Rock Cudgel of Discipline on 20 troops in the field, so we'll do that. And we'll have to do it with some shaman, uh, some sergeants as well. So, here is a sergeant, and we have to use the sights on him. Like five times or something. Uh, to kill him. Kill this sergeant. There we go. And another sergeant. And the last. No, not last sergeant, but the fourth sergeant. times oh, come on he's dead now I have to do it with a sergeant and we got a sergeant right here 
two more easy, very, very, very easy quests completed. And one of them we even can deliver right here. Okay. And we should return to Col the colonel at some point. Was wasn't he a corporal before? No, he was a colonel, right. I'm just messing around in my own head talking. Okay. Let's go in here. Complete the quest. And I guess we can go back to the place we were before. Get 9,500 XP. Do not get any items whatsoever that we can be using. That sucks. Well, we do get a weapon, but hey, I do have my Harlem weapon, so I rather prefer having that. Shouldn't be that long before I'm, I will be hitting level 55 either. I mean, it's only like 10, 20, 20, less than 25 XP. 25% XP and I'll be hitting level 55 so only a few more quests maybe like six seven maybe eight quests for now let's get over and deliver the quest we just got here we do get about 9,000 XP per quest some at 10,000 so that would be about three four quests and we'll if they give the appropriate XP and we'll be hitting level item except the next one and uh, next one is that we'll have to go to Morgan's vigil so that would be over here we cannot fly over there fly over there but uh, now at least we're getting to the point where we're almost ending this zone we'll have about 10 more quests or something to do in this area and uh, then we'll be done with this zone so I guess even though if we hit 55 and the mobs are still green for us then we'll just finish the zone up and then we'll see what is next on the list after that of course so next day let's follow the road over to the Morgan Vigil here and uh, I can already now foresee that we'll be discovering this place and then we'll get the achievement for exploration of this whole area of this whole zone so that's nice Deliver the quest that should be right in the house here by the dude here. Deliver the quest, accept the next one, take the next quest here. And he tells me I have to go somewhere else. He, he wants me to go to uh, Swamp of Sorrows. I guess I'll ca I can do that at some point. I'll do that uh, after I'm done with this entire area. Still got some quests. I would like to have the uh, achievement for having completed all the quests in this uh, zone. At least most of them, and then the exploration achievement could be kind of cool as well. Having a warlock, as I already do have quite a few. Okay, next thing is, we we'll have to kill some of the wargs here. Uh, some wargs. We'll be pulling plenty of them. Please die. Come on. I'm getting a little bit of patient here. Let's go ahead and use the cutter here and then cut the uh, works here. Get some meat out of them or whatever it is we're cutting them for. Some Something called work cutlet. I guess it's some sort of meat. And two and a half bar. That means about 12.5 XP and we'll be hitting level 55. Shouldn't be too long. That means uh, that's kind of like 15,000 XP. That's nice. I'm 
might even when we deliver this quest, depending on how much XP we get from uh, killing these mobs. Probably not enough. We, we also have to find uh, some fly fireflies, they should be somewhere around the lava. The quest is called Seven Yup, and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good humor from Blizzard's department. If you ever quested in this zone before it got revamped, then you would know there's a, uh, there was a quest called uh, 50 uh, Yup or something like that. A 50, uh, yeah, something, uh, 50 packs or something. It's uh, very similar to this name, and uh, that's kind of what it, it is an uh, off spin off kind of joke from Blizzard's side. I love how they uh, name their quests once in a while, or the NPCs for that matter. Drain life, come on. Use the cutter. Cut, cut. Cut. Thirty three out of forty. Means we'll only have to kill a few more works. What we also have to do is apparently we have to speak with Morgan. And where is Morgan? I wonder where he is. What does it say in the quest? Oh, that's oh, that's a Black Rock Depths quest. We're not going to do any instances at all. And there we go, Explore Burning Steps. Awesome! That's another achievement for our nice little warlock here. And I've almost forgot getting in the to cut that warden or the work. And still need to find the fl fireflies. Should be flying around. Should be in the lava here. There's one, as you see. Really easy. Just annoying to be clicking on because it's so freaking small. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to level 55. It's a good, uh, it's a good number. 55, 44, 33. 33 is an awesome number. <laughs> that, that is why we have the guild name. In my guild, we call it 33. It's a kind of insider joke between me and my real life friends. And I, uh, hey, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but uh, it's a pretty good in inside joke. And. Now we have to find some obsidian ashes, I guess. And they drop from these elementals. And these are the elementals that reflect, right? Those horrible oh, freaking elementals. They have a 20% chance for reflecting when they have a certain buff up. And I probably shouldn't be watching my health there. Because I, I wasn't realizing because they were reflecting, they were uh, actually uh, putting the dot back on me for some reason. I completely forgot what the word uh, reflect stand for. And I, I'm not really wanna dot them. Need to kill seven more. Six more. <laughs> Look at that, a 
cannot even drain life. Let's put the dots up while it's not reflecting. And uh, when we're using drain life on it, it's kind of healing it itself. That's pretty cool. Come on. Oh, no, it's not healing itself. Would be rather cool if it did, like a dead re reverse effect. When I used drain life on it, I was supposed to get health, but uh, what if it was draining my life instead? Would be rather cool. It's better reflect. Don't we we shouldn't forget to be looting these mobs. Definitely shouldn't. Five more to go. Four more to go. And three more to go. And that is one of the elementals. Then we'll uh, have to go and find two more. And then I guess I'll be delivering my quest because then I really do not bother questing anymore or doing any more let's play for today. Because doing too many let's play in one day can be rather, well, repetitive. Uh, repetitive. And uh, when I kind of do repetitive things, things it uh, can ends up getting really bored. And that's what I talked about in a few episodes ago. And uh, that I try not to uh, do too many episodes at one time because. Uh, then it uh, kind of gets boring to listen to because then I do end up uh, losing the stuff. I do not have do not have an, as many stuff as much stuff to be talking about, and then it gets really boring to be watching. And it's not as energized, and uh, that's what I want to do. And uh, but I guess two quests here are good enough, and we are. Uh, almost 55 once we turn in the quest here will be 55 definitely so that's great that's uh, nothing to be disappointed of we did get a couple of levels today and I guess uh, that if I put up um, start the rendering out now I can get out a few episodes uh, later today there's maybe all of them or three of them and this episode however did last uh, for a while as well not sure how long I've been recording this episode for but I hope you guys enjoy it regardless because sometimes you get 15 minutes long episodes sometimes you get 35 35 minutes long episodes and it's really not up to me it's a uh, it's hard to control let's just keep it at that um, Let's deliver the quest here. First quest, second quest, and ding! Level 55. We can put a talent point wherever we want, but let's talk about that in the next episode. For now, I'm gonna cut off this video here, and I'll see you next time. See ya!